friends, the anterior border of the tibia. So this muscle just going lateral is going to be tibialis anterior. There is no problem. So uh, sometimes re regarding the evaluation, if we do any fast movement, it's not going to be overactive because this is usually a muscle which has tendency to be weak. So the object is usually to try to recruit it or in orthopedic patients to decrease pain, okay? For example, in orthopedic patient, this is a muscle which is going to be overloaded. For example, in, for example I have some patients going, uh, usually walking in the mountains hiking. or yeah. Hiking. Yeah, yeah. hiking or uh, mi military training or with uh, when usually the, the, the shoes, the boots they are wearing, they are very heavy they usually overload this very much, okay? So this is one of the ideas that made you lead to think of tibialis anterior. So in this case, we are going to have the muscle just here, so there is a surcus with the tibia, and the other surcus is going to be with the extensor digitorum. So I can feel the surcus, I can palpate the muscle, and I can fall to a surcus with the extensor digitorum. So the muscle belly, is going to be in all this area, okay? So then it's becoming a tendon. Sometimes, for some neuro patients, it's a curious thing, but when you make some movement in eversion very fast, you can realize that tibialis posterior is very active, and sometimes tibialis anterior is active, but only in the inversion movement. It's like it's giving some resistance, so sometimes if you have a very deviated foot, you can try to do training in both tibialis posterior and anterior, okay? So just an idea. So in this case, if I have the tibialis anterior here, the most important is that this is a superficial muscle and I don't want to be deep, because if I go deep, I can go through the inter interosseous membrane and then I can reach all the vessels, the nerve and the tibialis posterior. So this is something I want to avoid. So if I want to do the tibialis posterior, we will show another approach that is safer, okay? So in this case, if I want to do brain kneeling, I will use <coughs> the needle of two centimeters and a half. May I start down, Sandra? So which is going to be the direction in your mind? Imagine I'm palpating. I'm Mm. Well, I'm going to take a volunteer of you and I'm going to palpate and you tell me, okay? So, for example, you, if you want, you take this and you put the direction. You just say, for example, I'm going to palpate it and you say, for example, I have, this is the circus and <laughs> this is the trigger same. point, for yeah. example, which is your expected direction for you, more or less. This what do you think the rest of you? Uh, uh, popliteal uh, nerve. Yeah, popliteal. It will the nerve will be here in this area of the peroneal. Okay. So, any of you want to also to comment or to help her? Yeah, we, will, we won't insert it very much, but more or less, if we want to get the fibers and not go in lateral medial, how can we put it here? Some of you want to help her? Do you want to put this? More or less, how do you think it is? Have a look to the plane. He is rotated externally. Okay, so. <coughs> I think it's gonna be like this perpendicular to your fingers. Okay, mm -hmm. and we can move around to look for the twitch. Okay, so this is mainly like that. So, for example, if we are palpating here at top band, I'm palpating like this, so this will be like this because I'm palpating like this. Okay, so if I put it a bit like this, which is the problem, I'm going to get a bit um, lateral. Mm -hmm. Okay, or if I put it very a lot of like this. I'm going to hit the bone. Okay, so more or less again I palpate. So if this is the direction, I'm going to do this more or less. Okay? So I'm going to take 
a short needle tell me if there are some well here there is another muscle where you are going to find a lot of septums so you will find it's very hard with a lot of top bands but you have to concentrate on feeling if there is an increase in the volume okay so in my mind for example this seems a bit of increase in volume how do you feel this not very much for me this seems better I like this really but this is very good well it's not very painful this sometimes we take into consideration what the patient says and sometimes we follow our feelings okay or perhaps as he is not a real patient he doesn't have any trigger point but it seems a bit here so in this way I'm going to do this and you and I can adjust and do a little here do you feel here? No? I'm going to move a bit once you've entered at the beginning it seems like it started the twitch hmm? then after that I didn't feel ok so I'm going to look for some other here a bit ok so this is enough so now 